Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1 finale called The Siege of the North Part 2. So we start off with Aang's in the spirit world and um, he talks to this monkey that's meditating and tells him to leave him alone and then the slate shows up and he's like, go follow that. So he does. And then he talks to Roku, and then we go to the regular world where Zuko is caught in a blizzard. And um, the ice started to collapse, and then they get put in a cave. Then, um, when Aang talks to Roku, he's like, um, there's only one person that knows about the spirit, the moon spirit, and that is Ko. And he could steal your face, so you had to be emotionless so, so. <laughs> and um it says that the spirits are in the real world and only Ko knows who that is so then back in the real world Zuko is jealous of Aang and his sister and basically he's he, they're basically naturals or prodigies or whatever and he was never that and said I don't want luck I don't need luck I struggle and that's what makes me better and I was like okay go off and then we cut to where um, the Fire Nation is invading and Jal is planning to remove the moon because of the mortal form because he found it in the library. Then Han pops up and is like, Admiral Tro or Trey or whatever, <laughs> Troy, and he and attacks him and he, just, he gets thrown off overboard and into the water. <laughs> and they, uh, then Iro and Josh just continue the conversation. That just had me, I was like, that was funny to me. Then, um, <laughs> then Iro warns him about his plan. Then we cut to where Aang in the spirit world talks to Ko. And he's like, the, there is T and La is their mortal names. And he also knows that someone is going to off the spirits and um and says so someone that you already met them and it's the koi fish and that is Twi and Ma. So Aang is going back to the physical world thanks to Hey Bye and then we cut to where the word try to fight back and they have a really cool action scene. Then Aang is back, and then Team um, Avatar find him, thanks to his light trying to find his body that Zuko has. So they cave Zuko and take him back, and they take him and after they knock him out. Then Zhao uh, got hit, uh, oh, sorry, he got this moon spirit, and the whole, the whole thing went red. Everything went red. It was crazy. Then we find out that the Moon Spirit healed Yue, and uh, so basically when she was born, most babies cry, she never cried, she was like on a deep sleep, and they said that she doesn't have that much longer to live. So her dad played with the Moon Spirits, and the Moon Spirit turned her hair white, and then she started to cry, and so that from that point, you know, she was going to be a health, health, happy, healthy baby. So... Uh, then we cut to where Jal is on a complete power trip and Aang tries to reason with him and Iroh helps and Jal let it go and then he went with that with the fire and offed it. Then Iroh goes ham on the guards and then Jal makes a run for it and Zuko escaped as well. And then we cut to where Aang and the other Koi merge and literally obliterates the navy. <laughs> And I mean, obliterates the Navy. Then it's Zuko versus Jao. And then Yue can revive the Moon Spirit. Because uh, um, Iris says, you've been touched by the Moon Spirit. So its power still lives in you. So she sacrifices herself to bring back the Moon Spirit. And she does it. And Yue is gone. And then we go back to um, Aang and the other um, Ocean Spirit. Are obliterating the Navy. Like, literally... Just shoving it back like a toy ship. And it's crazy. And he literally goes ham. And then we cut to where the spirit of UA kisses Sokka. Uh, kisses, her, kisses him goodbye. 
And then the spirit was saying out because the moon is back and so it's going back to its original place. And it, but it takes um, Zhao with him. And um, it was really interesting because when it was taking Zhao, Zuko was like taking my hand and he was like, I'm good basically and goes with the spirit. Then Paku is going to the southern white, uh, southern tribe. Oh my god, this he's going to the south to visit the other tribe, and some healers and some other people are going down there to help rebuild it. And then we cut to where um, Aang is getting um, taught by from Katara now because she's now a master thanks to Paku. And then we cut to Rizuko wants rest. And here's the thing. Iroh's theme for the entire first season is Zuko, you need some rest. A man needs his rest. And he never does it. At all. But this particular time, he actually rested. And then we cut to our fire of Lord Ozai. is like, your uncle is a traitor and your brother is a failure. I need you to handle it. And she's like, okay. And we get to see Azula. And I don't know why I said it like that, but... <laughs> That was the end of the episode and the season. Really, really good finale. I give it an A+. Plus. It was so good. I really enjoyed the action scene, the story behind it, with Yue and Iroh and even Zhao and Zuko. Really well done. I loved it so much. And as far as the series, I mean, the season... Honestly, I only had one bad episode for me anyway. That's just me. So honestly, I gave this up this whole season a strong A. If it wasn't for that freaking Great Divide episode, man, it would have been an A plus on season. It's really hard for me to do that. So because that does not come around often. So anyway, really good episode. Enjoyed it. Season gets a strong A. I will be doing season two. And season three, I'll be doing the whole freaking series, and I'll also be doing The Legend of Korra after this. So, this is my main priority right now, so we're going to be flying through this. And then, we'll start The Legend of Korra soon, and that's what I'm doing for this video. So, this video, please give a like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below as I subtly get a pen to make sure I did this freaking episode. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you like. That'll be awesome. And that's it. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.